Step forward. The orb hums with cerebral magic, permeable, but impenetrable. Within it, the Githyanki prince is as silent as a corpse, but for the murmur of his powers being silent, he fend away. must find where Gortash and Orin have established themselves, and take their nether stones.
don't waste a step. The city is close now. My former peers will be watching, no doubt. Waiting for my return. We should do what we can to find them. What they know could help us. me. I can't find my mum. She was, um, she was sick. She had spots on her face and hands. She went to go get some herbs and she was supposed to come back the same day. That was last ten day though. loved food like this. Simple is best, she always said. I'll, um, I'll look for her. I think she'll probably come soon. Thanks a lot. What do you get out of this? talk. I'm sorry. The little one needs all of my attention. We told our son that this is a holiday to spare him the truth. We don't have homes to go back to. Do you know where we're going? What kind of inn is it? Will there be feather beds? No passage this way, I'm afraid. Turn back. It's for your own good. Soon enough. You have anything you want for supper. Oh, yeah. 
all the treats your tummy can handle. If I was a Sharon lookout, this is what the sort of the place hell was that? It felt like a bloody earthquake. Darians, stand with me against this tide that threatens to overwhelm us. Please just go home. You're ruining a perfectly uneventful posting with this nonsense. The flaming fists are supposed to protect this good city, but they allow trash and vermin to take our homes and goods. Ah, oh, another visitor, I see. Listen. We keep letting the likes of you in. Soon, there'll be no room left for any of us true Baldarians. Excuse me? I was born inside the city walls, a Baldarian through and through. Wherever you're from, clearly they don't teach manners. You see them over there? Refugees? Ha! Naught but a cover. I know what they really are. Died in the wool agents of the absolute. Mark my words. There's probably only a handful of rotten apples among them. Or, oh, you know what they say about rot? It spreads quickly. Ruin. Between you and me, I don't think there are enough flaming fists here for these refugees. Us Baldurians can't feel safe with so many of them roaming about without proper supervision. <sighs> Let's hope Archduke Gortash can make a difference. Very well. criminals, and we won't have them. Oh, gods. Not another protester. Go talk to Nestor if you must. I've got plenty on my plate with these mewling geese. Young lady, shallow heart. A word if you will. I just lost a wager, thanks to you. Who are you? Someone who bet that you'd never be foolish enough to actually show your face in this city again. But here you are. And the gold in my purse is soon to take flight.
There have been whispers about you, sister. About your faith, your loyalty, your company. I can't help but feel the strangest twinge of disgust as I look upon you. Is it true? Has Our Lady forsaken you? I know the truth. I know my parents still live. Tell me where they are, and I have no quarrel with you. I'm afraid the quarrel is unavoidable, thanks to you. Now I must report your reappearance. If you are intent on bringing matters to a head, then seek out the House of Grief in the Lower City. Tell me one thing. Is there someone called Renald there? A tiefling with short horns and purple hair? Renald! Now there is a name I haven't heard in a while. He is no more. I'll leave the rest for you to find out. Heretic. Back off and return to your homes. That's an order. Why don't you protect us instead of these scruffy outlanders? Lord on the rack, give me patience. These protesters keep harassing the refugees. It's horrid. I just hope the Ilmata Temple opens up aid again soon. We need their help here. I'm paid to take down troublemakers, so don't make trouble. Glad to see you. Glad to see anybody, really. It was a lonely road getting here through those abandoned farmlands, and I'm a sociable sort. Oh, to be fair, for a miserable collection of shabby hovels jam-packed with wretched refugees, this place isn't bad at all. <laughs> Apologize for my husband and his obsession with that bloody dog. What was that, my dear? Nothing, darling. Here we are, Griselda. Oh, all in one piece. I wish the cult. No, I'm afraid I must insist you do not pet the hound. My love, you can't keep being so rude to strangers. It's just a dog. All the grabbing and touching startles poor Biscotti. I will not apologize for caring about my boy. Isn't he just? I'm so very glad they let animals in the camp. Means Biscotti can be kept away from that awful war. Oh, yes. As long as the dog is okay, he's happy. Give me strength. Have you found some place we can wash our clothes yet? What will we wear? While we're... Heads will roll for this. This, this transgression. This injustice.
I don't give a shit about all that. It's how I've been treated, which is the real travesty. A perfectly respectable businessman wants to bring his, well, business into this fine city. And what do they do? They talk some absolute horse bollocks about papers and correct filing procedures and threw me in this slum. I should be loins deep in Charesse's caress by now, not waddling about in filth. What will we wear? Not yet. We've got to get Grunch into the city, but he's in no shape to travel. I wonder, what if we hit him in a big barrel and nailed it shut? Nah. Don't know how we're gonna get Grunch into the city. Wounded as he... you need. I can't help you. Even talking is painful right now. After a quick examination, you conclude that your patient is pretending to be wounded. You wonder why. Really? This isn't necessary. I'm sure there are other people that need your help more urgently. Shh! Not so loud! If those lads find out I'm faking, they might go off on their own. They're not ready for that. And frankly, I'd miss them. I don't really have any other friends, and I like those lads. So I think I'll stick around a while more. Now, now, mind your tongues. Leave Christine to me. Can't stand her, can't stand her, can't stand her! My sister-in-law. All law and no sister. Actually got here safely. Towing along my wife, sister, and mother. Or maybe they towed me along, eh? Christine. God, camping with the mother-in-law has been utter hell. Maybe I should just go on ahead into the city without her. Scouting, like. So, you survived. That's more than many of my kin can say. It's mainly anger that keeps me going. Zevlor was supposed to lead us, but he froze when we needed him most. Uh, I haven't seen him since the massacre on the road, which is lucky for him. What a sad situation. The once proud tieflings of Elturel, reduced to beggars. I ran for days to get someplace safe and then found out I'm last in line to get in because I'm a hobgoblin. As if I could change that. Hail, friend. Fine day, isn't it? Forgive me, you're in no mood to talk about the weather. Your journey here was a hard one, no doubt. Is this your first time in Baldur's Gate?
It's a fine city, isn't it? No better place to hail from. Used to be you'd arrive knowing you had a full belly and a warm bed waiting for you. Not anymore. These days, there's barely enough to go around. I had the refugees on top, and well, folk aren't feeling too generous. I've been asking myself the same question. I wouldn't be the first to interfere. Some well-to-do's in the city donated enough to see the newcomers right for the time being. Only they didn't bother helping everyone else. Locals going without while strangers feast. It stoked the fire, all right. If I wasn't wearing this uniform, I'd walk round there and teach them a lesson they'd never forget. Too bloody right. They've gone soft behind those walls, forgotten what it's like to struggle, living hand to mouth. I say we march round there and slit a few bellies, remind them how much worse things could be. What do you say? Why does it matter? Innocence makes the blood run clearer. So, you're the lick spittle who crushed the bone lord's thrall. Have you come begging, sniffing for our stones? Gortash won't like that. A throat his black hand can't choke the spit from. You'll need to bleed and carve this city if you want to turn him to grave meat. He shivers at the thought. <laughs> when you find the Lordling, tell him Oren is watching. So, Orin is a shapeshifter. How long has she been watching? What a day. A crooked touch. No time to rest. Father, can I go? Oi! What in Helm's most holy name are you doing here, citizen? And I just want to see what Manip Nestor has to say to you. Come on, with me. The hell's are you doing in here? This is a bar, not a museum. Now get gone. If you want to chat, talk to Nesta. Got ya! Too slow! 
Seems like a good moment to talk. I'm busy. Mind your own. On your way, citizen. Got a lot to keep my eye on round here. Keep out of trouble, can you? If you don't have anything to donate, you can get going. Thank you. I'm sure your contribution will be greatly appreciated. Donations. You wouldn't be saying that if you'd see if you don't have anything to donate, you can get going. Come over and exchange pleasantries. Oh, folk come, folk go. It's a little dull, to be frank. The room next door has rather reeked of late, though. And that's coming from me. 